I hope you get this message. My name is Cassandra Williams. I'm a psychic consultant for a paranormal TV show called Ghost Patrol. We're filming an episode here in the deserted town of Bitterford, Maine. And I need your unique expertise. There's something terribly wrong here. I can feel it. Uh, no, we were just leaving, and no, I don't give out autographs, so if you'll excuse me. Has anyone seen my lip balm? You don't know who I am, do you? Jack Talon, host of Ghost Patrol, rated number three in reality TV ghost hunting shows by the readers of the Paranormal Weekly blog. Come at me, ghosts! Nothing? Ah, you're that detective Cassandra called. No wonder you haven't heard of me. You're obviously too busy solving your little crimes to watch quality television. Well, knock yourself out poking around this crappy town. Ghost Patrol is off duty. Oh. Reporting to you live here from our studios at KHAD Portland, Maine. Boy, it looks like real pea soup fog out there today, folks. So be careful out there on those roads. This has also caused huge problems for air traffic. All flights have been grounded until further notice. But they Centered and frame this time. I want to get back to the motel before lunch. <clears throat> Let's go. One, two, three, two. It's just after midnight here at the abandoned Shadow Lake Penitentiary. We're spending an entire night patrolling for paranormal activity. This prison lies in the old ghost town of Bitterford, Maine. 
Deserted after a devastating earthquake in 1973, Biddeford, Maine is reputed to be one of the most haunted places in America. And the Shadow Lake Penitentiary is at the epicenter of these hauntings. Countless violent criminals lived out their lives within these walls, many of them meeting an untimely death here. Having spent so much time locked up, their restless spirits still roam these corridors looking for a way out. And that's just what we're going to give them. Right now, I'm going to try and summon these spirits by inviting them to join me here in the summoning circle that I've drawn on the floor. My assistant, Kelly, will be here to take EVP recordings. You ready, Kelly? She's ready. Let's do this. Yo, prisoners, listen up. I am the new warden here, and I am giving you permission to come out of your cells and join me here in this circle. When I count to three, you will be free to come and join me in the summoning ring. their bars. They are here and they are angry. It's time. We're here at a precise moment in history. They're ready. They're ready to come out and I'm ready to greet them. Jack Talon on the scene. Ghost Patrol. <laughs> Not afraid of you! Come on out! Come at me, ghosts! <laughs> Kelly, come on. Come on back. The deceased is one Theodore Hansen, male, 32, occupation local school teacher. The body already shows clear signs of rigor mortis and is in a similar state to six identical cases in the last 72 hours, leading me to wonder if this is some kind of epidemic. appears to be something moving beneath the skin of the right forearm. Hey, Steve. Looks like we have an 1124 out here on Burroughs Road. We're gonna go investigate this.
You're not getting it, Dale. I'm trying to tell you that all these deaths are related. Oh, I get it, all right. According to you, an uh, ancient evil devil horn is flying around killing law-abiding citizens. Do you realize how crazy that sounds? I, I'm just saying, there there's, has to be a simpler explanation. Well, I didn't say they could fly. Try explaining this. symbols. I've seen them before. I saw the warden write them on the window of his truck just before he died. Dale, my autopsy showed that the warden's time of death was 8.35 a.m. yesterday morning. Meaning? Meaning he was already dead when you found him. Give me the horn, Janet. Dale, I don't think that... Follow me. Demon, your unholy designs will not bear fruit in this place. I rebuke you evil spirits in the name of the Lord, and I cast you out by the authority of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. Your ungodly presence is not welcome here. In the name of the Lord Almighty, I hereby cast you back to hell. I need everyone's help. Repeat this with me. In the name of our Lord Almighty, I cast you back to hell. In the name of our Lord Almighty, I cast you back to hell. Again, in the name of our Lord Almighty, I cast you back to hell. In the name of our Lord Almighty, I cast you back to hell. Now, Sheriff, destroy it! Need to get it back. But how? matter if I can't get back inside. They never put me back into the same cell if I was caught. What? Oh. I see. Yes. Magnificus Deimun. We have collected the souls that you require. Pasanemos Tibi. Puricio. Detective, you're too late. In a moment, we will all be worshipping Adramalach, King of Fire, Commander of Hell. We're here in the sub-basement level of the Shadow Lake Penitentiary, patrolling the solitary confinement ward, where the most dangerous criminals were kept isolated from the rest of the prison population. Kelly has been getting some insane EVP readings. The atmosphere is just charged with this oppressive presence. Are you feeling that, Kelly? Yeah, and it's really freaking me out. Can we go back up now, please? No. I want to do something. I want to try a radical technique to summon the spirits this time. Now remember, these dudes were hardened criminals. 
The only law they adhered to was a code of respect. Now with that in mind, I'm going to try to provoke a response by taunting them with remarks about their manhood. I really don't think that's such a good idea, Jack. Let's do this. Spirits! Listen up! I heard you were all punks and snitches. That you would rat someone out for a pack of smokes. Well, what do you think about that? <laughs> and I think you are hiding in your cells because you are afraid. And if that makes you mad, then why don't you come out here and do something about it? Come at me, ghost! Jack? Jack, do you hear that? There's something coming from behind this door. There's a noise. You did it! You broke the spell! I could feel the demon lose its grip on me the moment the spirits were set free. Oh, its power was mesmerizing. Oh, what is this? Oh, I can feel the spirit of Ellen is with us now. Ellen, will you allow me to be your vehicle? My family is now free. I can never fully repay you for that. But I do know a way to relieve you of your burden. Detective, bring the relic to me at the shore of Shadow Lake, and I will take it to the bottom and make sure it is never found again. <sighs> I don't think the horn can be destroyed. But if Ellen can somehow hold it at the bottom of Shadow Lake, it will never be found again. Please, Detective, can you do this one last thing for me? I will meet you back at the motel. 